Voglobos. Generic name, Voglobos. Voglobos is orally administered and available as 0.2 mg, 0.3 mg tablets. Why it is prescribed, as a supplement therapy in patients with diabetes who do not require insulin injections yet. In patients who are unable to control their blood sugar levels with diet alone or with other medications. Voglobos is used to treat type 2 diabetes. It helps lower your blood sugar together with diet and exercise. How it works? Voglobos inhibits the activity of enzymes required. These enzymes break down carbohydrates down to simple sugars within the intestine. This effect delays the digestion of carbohydrates and thus reduces the rise in blood sugar that typically occurs after meals. In contrast to sulfonylureas, anti-diabetic medicines, Voglobos has no stimulatory action on the pancreas. These agents may be considered as monotherapy in elderly patients or in patients with predominantly postprandial hyperglycemia. Alpha-glucosidase inhibitors are typically used in combination with other oral anti-diabetic agents and or insulin. Voglobos should be administered at the start of a meal as it is poorly absorbed. Therapeutic Indications For improvement of postprandial hyperglycemia and diabetes mellitus. When diet, exercise, hypoglycemic drugs or insulin either alone or in combination do not result in adequate glycemic control. Usually, Voglobos tablets are orally administered in a single dose of 0.2 mg, three times a day, before each meal. If the effect is not sufficient, the quantity of a single dose may be increased up to 0.3 mg. Onset of action, within one hour, duration of action, up to two hours. This medicine should be taken with the first bite of breakfast, lunch and dinner. In case if you have finished a meal without taking the tablet, skip the missed dose. Resume your regular dosing schedule with the next meal. Do not double the next dose. Dosage in renal failure, Voglobos is poorly absorbed after oral doses and renal excretion is negligible. Therefore no dose adjustment is required. The safety and effectiveness of Voglobos in children has not been established. Elderly patients generally have a physiological hypo function, it is desirable. To start the administration at a low dose, 0.1 mg at a time. This drug should be carefully administered under close observation, through the course of the disease condition. Careful attention to the blood sugar level and the onset of gastrointestinal symptoms is required. Contraindications Hypersensitivity to Voglobos or to any of the excipients. Diabetic ketoacidosis, diabetic pre-coma. Severe infection, before and after operation or with serious trauma. Gastrointestinal obstruction or predisposed to it. Precautions, Voglobos tablets should be administered with caution to the following patients. Patients with history of laparotomy or ileus. Patients with chronic intestinal disease accompanied by disturbance in digestion and absorption. Patients with aggravating symptoms due to increased generation of intestinal gas. Example, Rumheld syndrome, severe hernia, and stenosis and ulcer of the large intestine, and patients with serious hepatic or renal disorders. Other precautions. All patients should continue their dietary restriction with a regular distribution of carbohydrate intake during the day. Overweight patients should continue their energy restricted diet. The usual laboratory tests for diabetes monitoring should be performed regularly. Patients should be instructed and explained to recognize hypoglycemic symptoms and its management. When patients with diabetes are exposed to unusual stress such as fever, trauma, infection, or surgery, a temporary loss of control of blood glucose may occur. At such times insulin therapy may be necessary for some time. Precautions, before taking Voglobos, tell your doctor if you are allergic to it, or if you have any other allergies. You may experience blurred vision, dizziness, or drowsiness due to extremely low or high blood sugar. Do not drive, use machinery, or do any activity that requires alertness or clear vision until you are sure you can perform such activities safely. Limit alcohol while taking this medication because it can increase your risk of developing low blood sugar. 
It may be harder to control your blood sugar when your body is stressed, such as due to fever, infection, injury, or surgery. Before having surgery, tell your doctor or dentist about all the products you use. They include prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Pregnancy and Lactation To date, no relevant epidemiological data are available. It is desirable not to give Vogelbo's tablets to women during lactation. When the administration is unavoidable, nursing should be avoided. Drug Interactions When Vogelbo's is used in combination with derivatives of sulfonylamide, sulfonylurea or biguanide, or with insulin, hypoglycemic symptoms may occur. When used in combination with any of these drugs, care should be taken, such as starting the administration at a low dose. Voglobos could be administered concomitantly with drugs that enhance or diminish the hypoglycemic action of anti-diabetic drugs. Caution should be taken as this might additionally delay the action of Voglobos on the absorption of carbohydrates. Examples of drugs enhancing the hypoglycemic action of anti-diabetic drugs. Alpha blockers, salicylic acid preparations, monoamine oxidase inhibitors, and fibrate derivatives. Examples of drugs diminishing the hypoglycemic action of anti-diabetic drugs Epinephrine, adrenocortical hormone, and thyroid hormone Voglobose does not affect the pharmacokinetics of warfarin Hence it can be safely administered along with warfarin Undesirable side effects, gastrointestinal adverse effects such as diarrhea, loose stools, abdominal pain, constipation Anorexia, nausea vomiting, or heartburn may occur with the use of Voglobos, abdominal distension, increased flatus, and intestinal obstruction-like symptoms due to an increase in intestinal gas, may occur with use of Voglobos. When Voglobos is administered to patients with serious liver cirrhosis, hyperammonia may worsen with the development of constipation followed by disturbance of consciousness. Hypersensitivity, rash and pruritus may rarely occur. In such a case, Voglobos tablets should be discontinued. Psychoneurologic, headache may rarely occur. Hematologic, anemia, thrombocytopenia, and leukopenia may rarely occur. Others, numbness, edema of face, blurred vision, hot flushes, malaise, weakness, hypercalemia. Increased serum amylase, decreased HDL cholesterol, diaphoresis or alopecia, and perspiration. Voglobos does not usually cause low blood sugar, hypoglycemia. Low blood sugar may occur if this drug is prescribed with other diabetes medications. It may occur even if you do not consume enough calories from food, or if you do unusually heavy exercise. Symptoms of low blood sugar include sudden sweating, shaking, fast heartbeat, hunger, blurred vision, dizziness, or tingling hands or feet. Do not use table sugar or drink non-diet soda to relieve these symptoms because Voglobos slows the breakdown of table sugar. Carry glucose tablets or gel with you to treat low blood sugar. If you don't have these reliable forms of glucose, eat some honey or drink a glass of orange juice to raise your blood sugar. Symptoms of high blood sugar include thirst, increased urination, confusion, drowsiness, flushing, rapid breathing, and fruity breath odor.